Hello learners, I welcome you all to this session of learning. Here is an interesting poem written by William Blake. The name of the poem is The School Boy from your Honeydew book, Class 8 English. Here you can see the original inscription of the poem The School Boy written by William Blake. This is how it was published. And you can see the creepers. And these creepers, which are round the poem, these say to study amidst nature. Nature is our first teacher. And it is only through nature we are nurtured. Right? Now, without further delay, let us know more about the poet. William Blake was born on 28th November 1757 in London. He was an English poet painter and printmaker. He was one of the greatest poets in the English language. His famous works are The Marriage of Heaven and Hell, Jerusalem, Milton, etc. The best of Blake's short poems are Songs of Innocence, which was published in the year 1789, Songs of Experience, which was published in the year 1794. He died on 12th August 1827 at the age of 69 in London. Now let us read the poem. I love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! But to go to school in a summer morn oh, it drives all joy away. Under a creole eye outworn, the little ones spend the day in sign and dismay. Ah, then at times I drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour. Nor in my book can I take delight, nor sit in learner's bower. Worn through with the dreary shower, how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing? How can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring? Oh, father and mother, if birds are nipped and blossoms blown away, and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and care's dismay, how shall the summer arise in joy? or the summer fruits appear, written by William Blake. So now I'll explain you the poem stanza wise. Now let us see the first stanza. I love to rise in summer morn. Here I refers to the poet. And morn means morning. So here the poet is the speaker or the poet is the schoolboy. When the birds sing on every tree. So here I refers to the poet and he is a schoolboy. He loves to awake up in a summer morn which is full of beauty. And the birds sing on every tree and he is very much happy to see the trees and the birds. The distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! Distant means far. Huntsman is the hunter. Winds is the sounds by blowing. Horn is a sound instrument. So here the speaker is able to hear the sound blown by the hunter and that particular sound it pleases him. That is the poet or the schoolboy or the speaker. Right? And the bird skylark sings. He wants to sing with the bird in a summer morning and he loves the company of the hunter and the skylark. All this joy he can find only on a summer morning. Right? Now let us move on to the next answer. But to go to school in a summer morn, oh, it drives all joy away. Drives all joy away is destroys all happiness. Here, the speaker is unhappy to go to school on such a beautiful and pleasant summer morning. If he goes to school 
that means all his happiness is destroyed under a cruel eye outworn cruel eye is strict supervision of a teacher outworn is exhausted the little one spend the day in sign and dismay so sign refers to emit a long deep audible breath expressing sadness so as when a person is not willing to do it he expresses sadness and he sighs dismay is disappointed so the speaker says that he is tired under the strict supervision of teachers and the children spend the whole day sitting in the classrooms from morning till evening and they get very much disappointed tired and bored ah then at times i drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour drooping means to hang down from exhaustion exhaustion is tiredness anxious is nervous and worried so the speaker says or the boy says that at times for hours he sits together with his head down the head hanging down and he spends many hours nervously and he is constantly he is worried nor in my book can i take delight delight means happiness nor sit in learner's bower learner's bower refers to a place where learning should take place in the company of nature and not within the four walls of school worn worn means tired worn through with the dreary shower so dreary refers to dreary shower is boring words of the teacher so here he doesn't find the boy or the poet he doesn't find joy in reading his book so he doesn't get any sort of delight so he doesn't find joy or happiness in reading his book he cannot even uh, be in the company of nature in order to learn without a teacher he is too much tired of the boring words of the teachers which are showered on him that is the continuous teaching makes them boring or makes the child boring how can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing so here the speaker the poet he says that a bird is born to have joy in life or a bird it is born to be free and if you put the bird in a cage and if you ask the bird to sing will it sing no certainly not isn't it so here the speaker says that the bird it is born to have uh, joy in his life or move very freely in its life then how can a bird sing happily in a cage then how can a child when fears annoy annoy means bother and droop his tender wing droop means hang down and droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring youthful spring is the young here the speaker compares himself to a bird he has the feeling that he is imprisoned at school so here the bird is is in the cage so in the same manner he feels that he is put in a cage of school uh, that is in a school he feels that the school is like a cage for him so he is imprisoned at school and he always is afraid of the teachers and he feels himself that he is caged like a bird and he droops or he bends down his energy and he forgets to be happy and he forgets to share his joy of being young right oh father and mother if birds are nibbed so nibbed means cut and blossoms blown away blossoms are flowers and if the tender plants are stripped stripped is deprived of of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and cares dismay dismay is disordered how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear here the speaker is asking his parents 
that they must realize that they are like tender plants the speaker he compares himself to a tender plant and he says that if the bird of the plant if it is plucked and the flowers are blown away so that is if the birds of the of the plant if they are plucked and the flowers which uh, which are there for this plant if they are blown away by wind then the tender plants joy it is taken away at the sprouting stage isn't it then it cannot bear fruits how does summer season bring joy and fruits to the plant when its birds are nipped and flowers are blown away isn't it so in the same way children need free atmosphere and they need time to grow one cannot make them learn the things under pressure giving them stress and also uh, rote learning all this makes them inactive and they cannot expand well so the same thing happens to the speaker or to the school boy here in this poem he is full of sorrows and there is no one to nurture him so he wants to move freely and and he is not given a chance to move freely and here the poet william blake he says that to the parents that they should be given the children they should be given some time to move freely and they cannot be put under pressure to learn things right so now let us know the theme of the poem now here in this particular poem the sorrow that the boy feels in order to go to school in a on a summer morn so on a summer morning he feels very unhappy to go to school this is one theme right now then this boy he has the obligation to go to a closed area that is school but the boy wants to move freely in the lap of nature in order to learn and the boy he wants freedom he doesn't want himself to be caged he wants to grow he wants to expand he wants to learn freely without any stress is it clear children i hope you all have understood thank you